Hello and welcome to round 14 of the Bozra MSA GT3 Championship. Coming to you from the first roval of the series at Dotona Ray Rola, Daytona Road Course even. I'm uh, Jason Dilworth and I'm here with Paul Martin to take you through commentary. Will you take us through the quality results please Paul? Yep, on Paul we've got Ben Hackinson with his fourth pole of the season with a 142.6. On the second row of the grid is Matty Van Delden in Motorsports Auction McLaren this time with a time of 143.4. Tony Bird and Dion Phillips make up the second row, followed by Barry Bird and Chris Parks down in third row. Uh, yourself, Jace, and Soren Cruz make up the uh, fifth row of the grid, and Taylor Lynn Sunder Simon Underhill in the Synology BMW make up the sixth row of the grid. Then you've got myself and Ram Walker. Oh, it's just disappeared. Make it up the uh, seventh row of the grid. Uh, all uh, 21 drivers, 21 out of 22 drivers, uh, submitting a time. And over to you, Jess. Yes, um, pretty mixed grid. Some people out of position again this week, I think, because it's a very different sort of style of track than we have been used to so it's going to be interesting to see what sort of racing that throws up there's obviously the massive section around the oval um, but we'll get to that pretty damn soon in the meantime we have the social details so you can see us on facebook like the page there or follow us on twitter and if you're watching this on youtube hit the subscribe button around the video without further ado though we should make our way to the grid and see just how confused everyone gets by the uh, the lights of Daytona and this road circuit. Everyone gets away. A standing start on a oval section of a uh, race circuit is very odd. Some very different start approaches there down into this squeeze of a first left-hander. Looks like everyone's getting through relatively cleanly though. In fact, doesn't look like anyone touches at all. Uh, Ben makes an absolutely great getaway as you'd expect, but Matty Van Delden right there with him in the McLaren, which is super strong here with it being such a high speed track with half of it being an oval. Yep, and now we're on board with. Who are we on board with? I think this might be Craig. Be no, it's nope, Craig. Craig. Just got that from the helmet, there's his Twitch name box this lap. Uh, makes an absolute stormer of a start made up a couple of places there I think yeah. um, then tucks nicely in behind Harry and Dion just trying to sort themselves out and just tucks it up the inside of Dion maybe Does he manage to, no he just very cleverly gets out of the throttle sees whether there's a gap there but leaves it Tony on his uh, outside as well so very crowded around those first couple of corners for Craig but manages to keep himself out of trouble then yeah, getting um, a bit of a twitch is that yeah, and Ben, he's keeping the lead on the second section of oval. Yeah, they uh, come out here for the first time, so you can see the massive difference in pace between that Mercedes and this McLaren. It's got a toe, and it's the fastest car in the series as well. It's, uh, comfortably done. Yeah, very comfortably, down to this bus stop for the first time. Quite a challenge, though gets through the first half of it very cleanly, keeps it tight for the second half and tries yeah. to get a good run out. It Looks seems to have, uh, yeah, seems to have broken the toe, which is important coming into this last bit of oval. Yeah, Matty uh, is generally, you know, where, where would you say he was? Top of the midfield generally, isn't he? So seeing himself up in the lead there, nice welcome change for the series. Dion oh, and Tony coming together. Craig going right up the back of the don't want to go. Barry was right there as well. Oh, Craig just driving through Dion. That's uh, very unfortunate. That looks very messy indeed. You've got Soren here trying to come round the outside of none other than me and We've Barry. Got Ho here with Taylor Lane on the outside lane. Yeah, it's all got very exciting into this first corner. Soren tries to go round the outside of both the acorn printing cars but uh, only gets past one of them. Myself in the background, uh, you can always spin. And then I've just massively outbroke myself but somehow managed to get it stopped. 
and uh, I think I scared Soren into giving that, there was no talent involved there, that was just pure fear. Good bit of driving between this this group of five though, on board with yourself here Martin, yeah. down into the first corner, as you said, nice, man. chasing down, oh, just losing that back end, it's a really tough corner to get it slowed down in, must be even harder in the Mercedes. Across yes. the track. Now, if you weren't commentating with me here, Paul, I'd probably have told you off for that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. No, it's, First uh, lap. Yeah, that's the thing. It's uh, early on in the race, and uh, the adrenaline's right up, and you can do things like pulling across the whole road while ben, coming back on the muddy. Yep. Right. This then. is a very uh, strategic and where you overtake because you leave yourself very open on these sections oval for an hour pass. Yeah, that almost looked like Matty was allowing him to have the place so that he could have the toe down the oval. Strange. Oh, no, it might have been a slowdown. He's, he's going very slowly there. We've come away from him to be on board with Taylor, but it did look like Matty was struggling there. Taylor trying hard to get up into the toe of Soren, and as you can see, there's Matty still on his slowdown it's early on in the race so those slowdowns are horrible quite foggy in the first couple of laps yeah he might well have had another one out of the bus stop there though um, but either way taylor oh. doing a good job of catching up on the three cars in front of him We're, john uh, barrisford here um not sure what part of the track he's on <laughs> he's yeah he's on the inside for some, oh Oh, okay. You can, well, we don't go on ovals very much, but one thing you learn very early on is you don't join the oval mid-corner. That's unfortunate. I've made the same mistake in practice the night before this race, so uh, can't dig on too much there. Back on board with Soren here, um, just in front of Ali Van Delden, chasing down Barry Bird and Ben Hackinson, which Barry's came out of nowhere. Yes. Second position. I'm not sure what's... We've skipped forward sort of four laps or so here. Um, the Benz had an issue as well at some point in between those points. I would assume a slowdown as well. So it's absolutely charging. Again, that McLaren just showing just how quick it can be. But he's found himself on the outside. He's going to have a go anyway. Yeah, the smart there that McLaren is. Yeah, and he's letting Matty back involved as well. Oh, oh and he's spun it. Grass. That's really unfortunate. Same as the last race, just a, a little bit eager. He's got loads of pace and um, I know that that's going to get better over time. This is probably uh, help behind yourself. Uh, one of my uh, many spins of... Oh uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Matty well doing a great job to get out of the way and Taylor only just brushing me as well. So um, yeah, I got away with that one considering there was three cars right behind me and then I'm straight back in with Zoran that, that was the main reason I just wanted to race with him more um, there's a nice technique on this if you take the high lane of the of the oval and swing into the lower lanes at mid, mid section like kind of getting a bit of speed and is this Al McCain oh, yeah, oh nasty shot big impact keeps the uh, accelerator going as well while he's upside down just to see whether he can get any more pace out of it but uh, Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Back on board with yourself, Paul. Um, yep. Lap 8, 17th position, recovering from your spin. Going right around the outside. Bit of a squeeze from Martin. How did you feel about that one? Oh, no, it was okay, you know. Instant karma. It's about three. Oh, unlucky one. That's, that was that unlucky one. one. I'm sure he didn't cut you off on purpose, so... Uh, that, that, um, I think he was more preoccupied with uh, with the arm. Yeah, you were... That's the edge on his toe. You were sneaking up there, so it can happen. Looking backwards from Dan Bailey's car. Um, where is he? He's in the 11. Looking yeah, back. Dion. Uh, Dion. So this is a, a really good position for Daniel at the moment. As I said last race, he's keeping his races clean. I think this is part of it. He's let Dion through there. Uh, but keep his race is clean and he's still in what's that 11th place now yeah, that's that's it you know you go chasing the pace and chasing, chasing the positions you ultimately ruin your race yeah absolutely or, or. absolutely so we're looking 
forwards oh. from my car as Soren has another one of those spins. It's really unfortunate. Real slow spin as well. You see a Riley grin in that rear view mirror. <laughs> uh, I was I was hanging on for dear life this whole race. No grip whatsoever. Matty Van Delden oh, recovering. The car is just... <laughs> Choose a side, any side, go all the way around, and then just defend for the uh, the road section of the course. Easy overtake, no overtakes particularly easy, but going past the start finish line there on the 17th lap. Do you recall he was very happy with the pace of the McLaren? Oh, oh not at that point, but he's managed to get away with it. My racing uh, damage model working in his favour that time and it doesn't look like he's done too much damage so that's good. Alan is now the right way up again which is always good to see. Rolling yeah, around in the pits, fast repair and back out again. Absolutely not lost too much time. So not too bad. So at this point in the race, oh as Alan takes a spin, at this point of the race, 17 laps in, Hackerson and then uh, we one of the Bar brothers is in second. I think it's Barry. Yeah, Barry, and yeah. Then, uh, Craig Parks, Matty Van Delden, and then myself in fifth somehow. Yamla Ziva looks like he might have had a slowdown there. Do we think? Oh no, he's being lapped by Soren, so he's very respectfully getting right out of the way. Oh, lucky oh, on. Really unfortunate. Continued my curse from last uh, race, which every time I give someone a compliment, they crash. Um, Anyway, here we are as uh, Ben Hackerson goes round to finish. Oh, he's going into his pit stop, isn't he? So this is lap 18 or 19. Did we have any pit stop incidents, did we? A very tricky pit exit. It's a very tricky pit exit. And I found the entry <laughs> quite disconcerting as well because it's so open. You've got no references. Yeah. But I, don't, I didn't see anyone have any massive incidents. Sure, we'll soon find out. Just uh, putting two tyres on the grass. Yeah, no grip right there, Simon, unfortunately. Lots of crashes happening during this race. And I think a lot of it can be attributed to lots of people just not used to this type of track. Yeah, like low downforce track, but obviously where you need to is it's a downforce. But in the faster corners, it's not there. It's a yeah. trade that you have to make. Yeah, it really is. And, um, see here, Craig had made his way all the way up to second, and uh, it's just stuck it in the wall out of the last corner. And as I said, at this moment in time, this this race, Ben can take the series if he wins this race, and Craig has a bad result, he can win the series. So Craig will have been absolutely incensed with himself there, I'm sure. Looking down at Chris Butterill here. Not sure who that is in front of him. I think uh, he's a lap down on that car. Um, he's trying to chase down Taylor Lane, but instead he sticks himself onto the infield. Loads of runoff here, though, in that infield section, so that's good. Yeah, it's Tony on yourself. Yeah. Easy pass. Easy I don't think you're going to argue with the idea, are you? No, teammates yeah. and uh, running out of fuel <laughs> was, the main, <laughs> <laughs> was the main issue. Yeah, really tricky first corner. You know, you're coming at max speed down in the what is it, second gear corner. It's yeah, I hated it to start with, but it actually it's nice and technical. It's quite satisfying when you do get that breaking point just right. It's right about there, you know, just before the yellow lines, and you can sort of drift it all the way into this first apex. Then it drift out wide Mel to these S's. Another solid race. Very much nice. so, yeah more solid points as you as you mentioned but with uh, just under five minutes to go as I was going to say Ben Hackerson still looking very strong yeah that's uh, most of the game gives you confidence and um, when you do push it it's <laughs> yeah here's Taylor trying to go around the outside but out breaking himself and then hanging on anyway it's a great move Who's that lap car? It's what a egg. would that be in? The car with him here. This is me. Um, is that you? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. He's uh, he's done a great job taking it all the way around the outside. 
as you can see Ben's right behind us and here he is approaching the finish line and with things the way they are we know that Craig Parks can't get enough points in the last round to catch Ben so Ben is currently taking not just the win there but uh, massive congratulations from us and the fireworks go off we're actually winning yep. the series with a round to spare so congratulations Ben sure the rear stewards have something to say about this <laughs> <laughs> it's not Formula 1 they can celebrate if they want it's fine but yeah so Ben takes that win dominating again over the much faster um, motorsport auctions McLaren of Matty Van Delden the two bar brothers taking third and fourth for Acorn printing and if you want to see the rest of those results go back and pause it um, among people having a race to forget is Alan McCain there 16 laps down uh, I know he would have been absolutely gutted with that plenty of crashes in that race lots of positions changing in the championship as you can see Ben highlighted there for winning the championship he's 49 points ahead of Craig at this point Tony moves two points up after disappointing races for uh, Neil and a no-show from Paul Soren Cruz showing that uh, he can move up the championship solid race from him despite his couple of spins uh, 41 points on just a few races so not a bad shout from him at all Acorn printing there with 545 points having a bit of a commanding lead going into the last round over Seagate and uh, you can see the rest of the teams there as well six taking uh, at the rear could probably potentially catch Synology but we'll see how that goes in the last round well that there was a pretty exciting little roundup video lots of incidents and uh, I'm sure the guys will be putting in plenty of practice for the next rover we see in 2017 but for now the last round of 2016 Bosra MSA GT3 championship comes from Spa Endurance which is an endurance in itself just to do one lap there are you looking forward to it Paul yep great course good um. <laughs> i'm glad <laughs> we'll see you next time thank you for watching